put in there. Power gun is still well. There's still the war exhaustion. No, they lost the besiege provinces. So they've probably gotten manpower back. But the sooner we can ideally get the oh, you're threatened. That's not good. You suddenly desire a province. Don't you start being a bold boy now. Or I have to come in to you, and, or I have to come in there and start, you know, wailing on you. Don't make me have to set you as a rival. I really just want the wedding. If I get the wedding, I'll be happy. Oh! You can walk through natives? And give them attrition for us? Okay. Apparently, yeah, apparently conquistadors can now walk, can walk through, uh... Can walk through uh, natives, which is peculiar. I don't know why they would, but uh, I guess it's balanced or something. I don't know if it's balanced or not. Don't ask me. Ooh. Words from Urkagisador warned us that one of his trusted lieutenants had defected in despair at the state of the expedition. Urkagisador thought we had seen the last of the deserter, but our agents inform us that he has resurfaced and is peddling his charts to the merchants and explorers of our arrival. Stop him discreetly. Uh, against the National Spy Defense for ten, 20 years, or kill him and make an example of him by offense. I'll take the offense rather than the defense. Because it's not as. You don't get spy offense as often as you. Or you don't get. Well, just spy offense is nicer. Because. Yeah, it's just offense. Still nothing else I can explore. I don't know if it's based on the location I started from. Like if I started from down here when I have different missions, I don't know, but. That's not the worry right now. The worry right now is killing. You know what? I really, as much as I really don't want Aragon to lose prestige and be destroyed, he's kind of busy over there. I just want Portugal out of here as quickly as possible. And if I can get Aragon out very quickly for a very even just a white piece, because I don't want anything from him, I think, yeah. Maybe abusing France a bit, but I want Porto. And I want Porto now. Portugal, you gonna die. Cause we don't like you. Yeah, Aragon, Naples are Naples are not a threat. Where are you going? Yeah, follow him. You took that guy. Unfortunately I am using my king, which I really shouldn't be. But he's so bad that where? Ah, oh, I forgot to put my name. I forgot to put my name, name there. Uh, so I'm on the fourteenth. Uh, I really don't want to take get a new general. I should really just wait. But France will gladly join. Where is he going? Uh, he's he's gathering his troops before coming up. That's fine. Oh, there goes your trade fleet. Go blockade them. Alright, uh, just gonna take the dates. 27, 28, good enough. Yeah, it's killed them. Oh, Aragon. Oh, they got, she got the siege there. Yeah, totally Portugal will melt like butter. Probably not. Ow. Especially with those shock rolls, that's just painful. Yeah, there we go. Got a good shock roll in return. Oh, where are you running to? You run there, you whack that, and go sit on Porto. I should keep an eye on you. Cause uh, length of war. Where are you running? Oh right, you can run to allies. That's something that was changed. You can actually shatter to retreat to allied territory. Okay, hang on. Stop for a second. I uh, want to. Well, we're going to combine for now. And then. Detach a couple. That shouldn't have detached as. Shouldn't have detached as many. Hang on. It always does that. It detaches the third one as well, which I find really annoying. And then we'll just split you off. Two and two go there, two go there, and we'll send two to Lisbon. That means only two, only one province I need to watch after with this troop, which I can very easily just pull a few off. Uh, pull four off, send them to Alan Table. Grand! And France will be taking care of Portugal. 
While my troops are marching, they'll start to take care of any additional problems that may crop up. There's the Aragon. I don't want you losing too much in this. Just, you're slightly bes- Oh, something I probably should have looked at was the state of claims on Aragon. Because if France takes something that they've claimed, they're probably going to want it. Similar with Foix. If Foix get that, they'll probably want it. But it's only Foix, so I may not have to worry about them. Oof, that's a wipe. I really just want you out of this war as quickly as possible. And that's going to lose them even more men. <laughs> because of a shattered retreat. They don't have terribly many men. Ooh, this is new. Abandoned mounds. Where are you? Oh, you're over here, still searching. From a distance, our conquistadors thought them to be mere hills standing among the otherwise empty plains in Maranaho. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not entirely too sure. But as we drew nearer, an enterprising fellow in the company noticed how regular they were, and he soon pointed out to his companions that they must be the remnants of the great pyramids of an ancient people. There must be gold underneath those hills, dig them out now. And abandoned mounds, local movement speed, even more, okay, that's fine. Chance of nothing but dirt for a meager amount of gold. Or 50 admin! 50 admin, 50 admin, 50 admin, absolutely, 100% take the admin, oh, free admin, yes, I don't care if it was, a, if it could have been a better flavour event, 50 admin, that's a loss, that's a loss of admin, the military strength besieged provinces, oh, because he took a siege off, yeah, it might take a while to get that. Also, I'm losing a lot of money from reinforcement, don't I? Point one. And uh, the advisors have gone up. Yeah, just a little bit of reinforcement. That's fine. Not that I can't handle us. Also, yeah, their fleet's kind of stuck. Just want to kill you, Portugal. That's all. I cannot allow you to exist. Because you're just going to be a bitch. And annoy me all the way. I, I still find it funny how he's not got any name. <laughs> I have an explorer, but no one. Ooh! Drunken whiskey teas! Found singing long, lecherous songs and swigging whiskey straight from the bottle. The two men were clearly guilty of their crime. To steal whiskey and drink it while on duty, how unprofessional. They were tried in martial course and sentenced to flogging, then released. So, hopefully this, this did not avert them too long from their goal for 50 admin. They did not deserve a flogging for 50 dip, or that taught them, le that taught them a lesson for 50 mil. Um, I really want to get to admin 5. Just start unlocking the uh, the constables. Dip would be nice as well to uh, get the colonial range. Ooh, This is actually tough to pick. I am going to take the admin. Because I'm going to need to be corn. So, free admin. Apparently exploration is has its benefits. Sorry, Eric. I'm sorry, Aragon. I really don't want to have to kill you like this. But you allied Portugal. You're not supposed to ally Portugal. Not when I'm playing Castile. You don't ally Portugal. Because I eat Portugal. Portugal does not deserve to live. Really, they don't. Because they're just annoying. Uh, I don't think... They may have a colonist out there, but I've already taken the two uh, the two jump stops on the way. Although they may start colonizing here on Africa, which will be a pain. If they do. As long as they get them out of the way and they're, you know, they don't make too much money, it should be fine. Oh yeah, I claim Ceuta. Of course. Really, if I get Porto, it reduces a lot of their income, because then I start getting more of the trade income instead of them. The most deadly lake. The natives whisper and throw evil glances towards the still water. They say that there is a spirit there in the form of a great serpent or monster. They claim that this spirit ambushes canoes on the surface, pulling them to a watery grave. It may not be the work of monsters, but perhaps it would be wise to go the long way round. Local movement speed, or... Ugh. Take the fast way across. Chance of the leader will die or no effect. Let's go around it. I don't care if it takes me longer. There is the stab. Thankfully he was off. He wasn't in enemy territory. He wasn't sieging. So I didn't lose two stab. Because that happens. 
We have a woman with four regency for our, I presume this is our queen. We have a woman with four regency, so I've just lost the bonus to same dynasty with Aragon, but I now have an increased same dynasty bonus with France. I also now need to be careful, because potential PUs. So a one one four regency for a six three five. <laughs> oh, this is a brilliant air. I wonder if that air is just natural or if the luck because it's port it's France's dynasty, I wonder if the luck actually added points there. Yeah, can I add the monster in the lake? <laughs> How peculiar. Alright. Yeah, Alright, now the sieges are gonna start coming. Hopefully thick and fast. Who's energy in England? <laughs> I can want to declare on England just yet, but since we our truce is over, I will go immediately to issuing you an embargo for a little bit of pee pee. Mm, pee pee. Must have pee pee. And there's Bergamka done. Hopefully Porsche will finish soon, especially considering it's got that. Oh, there's Slam Sen and the others. Done. If we can get Porsche sooner rather than later, then they can move the blockade up. But well, actually, I want to keep the blockade there so they make sure that their navy doesn't get out. Make sure they can't explore too much more. And yes, I do auto pause in every battle starting and ending so that I need to be able to react just in case something goes in, in case something goes kind of wrong with the wars. Is all. Just in case. How close are you to getting out? Twenty. Basically, I need a siege to win. If uh, the siege of Aragon, Aragon. If that siege wins, even if the siege of Valencia wins, he might like it. Won't be my siege. I won't have the war score, but he might not like us. Ooh, colonial discovery. Blah, 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 blah. So Dipper admin, Dipper admin. I'll take admin. I tend to always prioritize admin over Dip. Dip isn't as important, I guess, unless you're a colonizer, then you want Dip seven for the colonial range. But the only real other time dip is brilliant is dip 22 because that's when lots of fun stuff comes in dip. Tw lots of fun stuff comes in dip 22. Yeah, so it's called Navarro when I have it, but it's Nafaroa when they have it. Well, I know I know it's my like cultural union, but I'm not Basque, so I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, they're exploring all of the. Actually, hang on. Um. Oh, Manaus. Important inland center of trade. And they added a few of them around here to the Amazonas, Brazil, which is... They're no longer important centers of trade, they're important natural harbors. Which actually gives less than the regular centers of trade. Yeah, regular centers of trade give a 20 and a 2 force limit. These only give 15 and 1 force limit, even though the inland ones still give 20. And the other thing, big thing is, uh, Colonial Guiana no longer exists. Brazil really reaches up now into Rio Branco. I wouldn't have put Rio Branco in Brazil. I would have kept this in Colombia. And maybe these two in Colombia as well. Instead of Guiana. But yeah, it makes Colonial Brazil huge. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that, honestly. I would have uh, left it as is, to be perfectly honest. Okay, Aragon, you should be willing to peace out now. Yeah. I don't even want to take anything off of you. Bye. Thanks, Franchi. It's all I wanted. Oh, and I would take peace out as well. Right, well, thanks, Franchi. That's kind of all I really wanted you for. Now I can eat me a Portugal. Nom 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 I don't want to take Sayusa because that is going to be expensive. Because, yeah, it still has Morocco's core, so it costs a lot more. They're still exploring. Okay. I suppose that's the handy thing about the exploration missions. They're going to keep exploring for a while. And I don't have to man I don't have to do it. I just have to sit here and be like, you, go explore that. And they'll hunt. They'll explore. They'll get the con they'll get the content sooner. Soon enough, I guess. Quimbra. Okie dokie. Yeah, more natives as well. And that's the case of how much can it take. There we go. There's Porto. So, I would definitely want Porto. Probably want Crimbra. How much is this going to I should check the AE as well. Um, not too bad, actually. Although, and this is different. Apparently, allies no longer get reduced AE, I believe. You don't want to ally... Oh, yeah, at war. Oh, and you're allied to my rival. 
which is a reason against it, but once I get out of war, you will. And ideally, I want Alan Tejo as well. Just on time, just in time. Uh, you go there, you're there. And Alan Tejo, which puts us up to a fair bit with Aragon, which is not good. I don't actually, I do have the claims for it, but... Uh, that's overextension, yeah. Overextension, hell, I'd rather not do that. I could make them return their core, but... Also, yeah, a null with Aragon. I can't have you doing things in Aragon. You're still 114 after this? Wow. Expensive. Yeah, give me all of that. Thank you. You like re ally. Good. And yeah, a little bit of overextension. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, you guys go there. You guys stay there. That's Alan Tejo, re allied with Aragon. So we can cont again continue the Reconquista. Yeah, I thought I was supposed to have both of them. Why did it give me after taking one instead of after taking both? Seriously. Uh, Grand Fleet, no thanks, not right now. Too much for worth it. Oh uh, yeah, I'll continue the Reconquista and take something off of Morocco then. That is odd. Oh, France. Oh right, because I died, I have to re I have to remarry them. And probably vice versa with Aragon, yeah. I'll need to re-ally them. Oh, Aragon under attack. No! Uh, Portugal's no longer a valid rival. All I have is Aragon and France. Well, that's okay. I can do, I can handle that for a while. The main key is I have over 25 power projections, so it will give me... I will have that leader without upkeep for a while, considering I am running two leaders with the Explorer and the Conquistador that I got over there. Any more missions you can do? No, just circumnavigation, which isn't available for a while. You still explored? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Ow! They're hurting a bit. Probably because of the ferocity over here. And, well, we don't exactly have too much extra tactics over the natives. The natives are kinda basic at 0 0.5. Once we get the next tactics at Miltech 6, we'll be a fair bit better than them. Did I gain much extra force limit from taking that? No, not yet, anyway. Uh, I should probably give you guys some autonomy while I sit back and wait for other things to pass by. And I'm going to want to let the war exhaustion pile down a bit, let the manpower come back up, make some money, and then go go assault Morocco to try and take Tangiers. What is there? Nope, wrong button. Ledger. Morocco is... 14,000, and I have 28. So all I have to do is land on one of these, or if I can get access through... Yeah, oh! Massive army strength difference. So yeah, you'll gladly give me access. I, they did say that they changed that, depending on the, on the army strength, and apparently my what, 32, 36, or is one is plus 100 to give me mill access. Grain in argument is not great, but it's something rather than nothing. But yeah, I can get mill access through Tlemcens. I can just land in Oran and walk over, although, ow, that's going to take a while. That was increased autonomy as well. Overextension isn't helping with it, so once the stuff cores, it'll then be a lot better. The good thing, though, is you do have three rivals, so you're less willing to want to change a rival to me, especially because they're all still your kind of size. And Austria is losing badly. Burgundy in Congress de Liège, and Burgundy occupied the capital. Wow. Burgundy is actually trashing Austria. I have... I did not think that was really going to happen. England... Oh, yeah, still at war. Burgundy still has lollards. Ha! Huh? Uh, poor England. Never really... They never really get up to much. I know I keep saying I should be saving for the embassy, but I'm not going to get to dip six in a while, considering I'm still trying to go up here, so I should build a few more carracks to go with my main fleet. Still nowhere else I can go unless I, you know, send them down. In this case, I'm waiting for colonies to grow, and colonies grow extremely slowly in the early game, because you're only getting 20 a year from the tech... Well, actually, 
It's a fair bit more from the tech, but it's arid, no Jason controlled, and yeah, you're low here because you don't have very much production efficiency. Once production efficiency goes up, the chances for settlers arriving goes way up, and as dip tech goes up, the actual colonists, the number of colonists goes way up as well. Uh, should there be someone else I want to suck up to? You know what, I should improve relations with Aragon, or even marry them as well, but I should also improve relations with them to ensure that they are... Uh, Sardinian Nats again. No, you didn't resuppress minority. That's just a that's just a that's just something that popped up. Cause you let it go for too long, really. Is there anyone to ally really up here? Probably not, don't know. Is there anyone viable to ally? Really I would, it'd be nice to ally people who get me into wars with electors so that I can, you know, run in and maybe vassalize them or even just get someone that I can approve of something? Get someone that I can like? Also, hang on, why would it not be eligible? Oh, Regency. Wait, no. Female. That's why. Not eligible because girl. Not eligible to be Emperor because female leader until Austria gets Maria Theresa. And then they get the Pragmatic Sanction, which enables female rulers to be HRE Emperor. He's still hunting. Taking a while. But, you know, slowly exploring everything. Opening up Brazil and uh, colonial Peru in the back. Peru starts around here. Okay, so, ooh, they changed that, I think. Yeah, I want to get a few in Brazil, but ideally you want to find the Caribbean, start colonizing the Caribbean and getting all the Caribbean money because Caribbean, yay! And Portugal is... Yay! <laughs> uh, it's fun seeing you, you know, beaten up. Gotta save more. Admin field to take more of them. <laughs> Diplomatic insult. Did you just claim a province? Yeah, because there is. You just use it to claim a province. Well, too bad for you. Now, do I want to get rid of the Leonese to get rid of the potential gnats? I don't know. It'll be much later on if I do that. I DD after, after when I finish religious to make it cheaper. England, where are you going? Where are you going, England? Seriously, you've already finished. You've already finished with Aragon. You should. You should ideally go home now. I guess they're not. Still exploring. Still trying to find everything. A lot of small lands and. Savannah, which is a new, there's a, there were a fair new terrain types in this savanna. There were the steppes, that's dry lands, there's farmlands. And apparently, the steppes are now an actual, uh, yeah, steppes are now an actual terrain type instead of just plains. Those plains were a bit generic, shall we say, just just a bit too generic for everything. Jeez, those names are popping up quite a bit. There's me cores, beautiful. And that gets rid of the overextension penalties, which which has reduced the, yeah, reduced the road knee unrest everywhere that had us. Near the end of 50 again. Let's build those cores up and then prepare the troops to march over to Morocco. And I don't have too many points for it. But if it is true that I can get it by just taking one, then I'll just take Tangiers and go away. If it'll give me the 100 points of the army tradition for that, I'll be glad and I'll come back later for Melilla. Wow, he died quick. Wow, 15 and at age 1. He died young. I believe, yeah, was it he? Are you gonna marry me or I'll have to marry you or vice versa or what? Someone marry someone. Right, I'll marry you. Technically, I'm st oh right, I can't attack them in the Regency. Of course. I need to wait until 1468. Four years. Assassination of Noble. Oh, 30. Actually, actually, because when the when the king comes or the queen comes of age, the legitimacy I think resets. Or I've had that happen. So let's take the legitimacy hit. Even though it's generally a bad idea, but I'll gladly take I'll take the legitimacy hit because I think it's safe to do so. Oh, you found Rio de Janeiro, eh? 
Oh, we're starting to go down the coast. Because Rio has the uh, natural harbour and stuff. It also isn't tropical. Which is nice to have. I'll need to take out these guys very quick. Very quickly, even. Ah, uh, Master of the Mint. No, 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 that was the manpower guy's gone. Uh, I'll then take the reinforce me because I don't exactly have the money to be taking plus two advisors. So my manpower is now over my max. Should probably then build some troops with the excess. But again, my force limit is actually lower. Let's just leave it for now. Although maybe building the armories. Is it worth I think it's worth okay. Let's build a quartet of armories in the provinces that I'm deciding that I'm gonna be building treasuries in. It'll make the troops come out faster, it gives me more manpower. Eventually later on down that line it's well it won't be going all the way into arsenal. I don't think it'll be going all the way into arsenals, at least not here. Like Madrid will eventually be the capital, so it'll get cathedral for the uh, Spy defense, unrest, that kind of thing. Toledo is probably production, production in La Mancha. I don't know about Cuenca, maybe. Production does a lot, especially in places with huge amounts of. Uh, especially when the, uh, the the trade goods are worth a lot of money, like iron is usually worth a lot of money later on. You get the development of iron working, which bring, brings it up from uh, three to four and a half. It's a nice thing to have. Okay, I need to take a break.